Right, let's uh, start with a time lapse from yesterday. A uh, very nice day. We had some passing clouds in the morning, but lots of blue sky and sunshine in the afternoon. And then just a few clouds appeared just in time for the sunset. And that's usually good news because it makes for some nice colors in that western sky. And that's indeed what happened uh, with the view from uh, downtown at La Crosse. Now, temperatures yesterday a bit above average. Now, a little colder to the north and to the west. You still have a little bit of a uh, little bit more snow on the ground in these areas. So low to mid 30s for highs. Uh, very little snow on the ground here in La Crosse, only about an inch or two in spots or piles of snow, 41, and then a snow free ground down in Boscobel. So you hit a high of 46. So it's that time of year where that comes into play in terms of uh, how warm you get during the day, how cold you get at night with that snow on the ground or the lack thereof. Now currently skies are clear over downtown La Crosse. Our temperature sits at 33 degrees. Winds out of the west at around 10, and that's pushing our wind chill down to 25. The Mississippi rising a bit, 7.43 feet. Uh, maybe allow uh, just a, a minute tops, a quick scrape this morning as a, a thin layer of frost has developed on car windshields this morning. Might be able to hit the wiper uh, blades and the uh, wiper fluid as well to take care of it. Uh, we're just above freezing here in the cross. But many surrounding spots are in the mid 20s to uh, lower 30s, and those winds were rather blustery at times overnight. I told told you about that yesterday uh, to expect 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, and that's pushing wind chills down into the lower to middle 20s for most, even 15 for a wind chill over in Rochester. So we had a little narrow batch of clouds slide through southern and western parts of the Buena area. Those are uh, kind of falling apart. Some more clouds approaching from the north and east here. That may clip areas near and north of Interstate 94, especially over the next couple of hours. We're kind of in a broad northwesterly flow aloft. These little weak disturbances zipping by to our north and east. That keeps most of the snow chances to our north and east with just some passing clouds around here. That's going to be the trend today as well. Again, more clouds north and east with more sunshine south and west. We're going to be kind of right on the edge here in the cross. Then tonight, clouds increase region wide, and tomorrow will be mostly cloudy, even some snow uh, showers up to the north and to the east. Maybe some flurries in our far northern and eastern counties, uh, primarily Chippewa, Clark, maybe northern Juneau and Adams counties, but most of us will stay dry. And then decreasing clouds tomorrow night, spelling some sun sh uh, sunshine on Friday, but it's also going to be colder on Friday. Mid-30s for highs to the north, including Eau Claire in the Chippewa Valley. Uh, upper 30s here in the cross, and then upper 30s, even some low to mid 40s again down to the south, especially towards uh, the uh, Wisconsin River Valley. So upper 30s here in La Cross with a partly cloudy sky. Tonight, clouds increase, lows around 26, and then tomorrow back in the upper 30s with mostly cloudy conditions. Again, that small chance of flurries far north and east. Colder Friday, but sunny, 28, and then warming right back into the upper 30s to low 40s for the weekend. Small chance for a light rain shower or sprinkle Sunday. Chance of snow Monday, and we could see some light accumulations from that. As it gets closer, I'll fine tune how much to expect. And then colder, much colder, following that system, 20 for a high on Tuesday, teens for highs on Wednesday and Thursday with overnight lows in the single digits. Get ready for that. We'll be right back.